Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, and in this episode, I'm on the Flint River in Alabama. I'm joined by Dan Shrew, the Southern Paddler, and we're going on a paddling mission towards the Tennessee River. Paddle Tales is brought to you by Perception Kayaks, NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Outdoor Play. Now the Tennessee River line is 652 miles long from Knoxville to Paducah, Kentucky. It's much more than just the Tennessee River. It's got all these tributary rivers that drop into the Tennessee River itself. And one of the most popular tributary rivers to paddle is the Flint River, which runs almost right through Huntsville, Alabama. It's one of the most popular rivers around because it's one of the most accessible rivers. It's got lots of access points and you don't need to be an experienced paddler to enjoy its beauty. You can see it's got a fair amount of current, so we're not going to have to do a lot of paddling if we don't want to, and that's the kind of river that I love. And it's also a perfect river to test out this kayak. This is the Perception Hang Time 11. It's a recreational sit-on-top kayak that was designed for chilling out, for hanging out. And that's what a lot of people who get recreational kayaks get them for. This one is a first kayak I've ever seen that has a lounge seat built into the back. So I am definitely going to test that out today, but more importantly, I'm gonna experience a river I've never been down before, and that's what I love to do the most. And so let's stop talking and hit the water. I think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> Dan is like my long lost brother from the South. He is always game for a paddling adventure, in particular along rivers. And I grew up on the rivers. My heart is in the rivers. I love river paddling. And I don't think there's another person as passionate about river paddling as Dan is. My name is Dan Truitt and I'm the Southern Paddler on YouTube and Instagram. We're on the Flint River, which is on the outskirts of Huntsville, Alabama. It's one of the most popular rivers to kayak and canoe in this area. One of the things that makes the Flint special is when you're on the Flint, you don't feel like you're in Huntsville. You look around, and it's nothing but trees. You feel like you're out in a quiet, remote area. So you can get away from the noise, the hustle and bustle. And to me, being out on the water, I, I tell people routinely it's my therapy. You know, I come out here to unwind, to decompress, and uh, I just feel better deep down in my soul when I get off the water than if I've just spent the day in town. When you get into kayaking, you quickly learn that choosing the right kayak is one of the most important decisions you're gonna make. And for many people, recreational kayaks are the kayaks to get. Recreational kayaks are designed not to cover huge distances, not to really challenge yourself. It's really, they're designed to get out on the water, get outdoors with friends and family, and just soak in the environment. And the Flint River is the ideal place for recreational kayaks. Dan and I share a love of paddling rivers and not really knowing what's coming up. And so Dan was very uh, understanding of the fact that I didn't want him to tell me what was coming around the next corner. These places you get to, these winding rivers, every corner, every bend in the river is a moment of discovery. You come around that corner, you're not sure what you're gonna see. And we quickly saw a lot of cool things on the Flint. Oh, wow. Look at that rock wall. Nice. Ooh, back channel. Can't say no to a back channel. That's right, gotta check it out. You first. All right. 
No gators here, right? Uh, nope, not as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we may be at the end. <laughs> There's a tree down. Uh, can we get through that? Eh, no. When you're paddling in flowing rivers, there are some hazards that you do need to be aware of, even on mellow rivers like the Flint. Uh, and fallen wood, fallen trees is the biggest thing you need to be concerned about. You gotta relax on the river, but you have to keep your eyes downstream. The other thing you need to watch out for are some creatures like snakes. And we spooked a snake pretty good, but I'm not sure who was spooked more, the snake or me. Is that him right there? Look at that, he's flared right up. Yeah, I, I'm surprised. I didn't think they were that aggressive. Wow. Oh, there he's slinking away. That's a big snake. It is a big one. No one told me that there was going to be a turtle convention on the Flint River. That's the theme of this trip. The turtles just summed up the theme of this trip. This is the hang trip. Over the years, I've discovered all sorts of different types of paddling. I started off as a whitewater kayaker, and at that time, 30 years ago, that's all I cared about, whitewater paddling. Over the years, I've come to really love and appreciate all types of paddling. But on this trip, I learned something new. I learned that paddling and lounging go really well together. Well, I gotta do my gear test, and it's a rough job, Dan, but Somebody's, Somebody's gotta, gotta do gotta it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be ready to go in about half an hour there, Dan. Okay, looks pretty comfortable. Oh yeah, it ain't so bad. <laughs> it's definitely a treat to be able to hang out in the back of a kayak like this, but this is the kind of river where any boat you come down in is just relaxing time. You've got to, you're on this natural conveyor belt through the wilderness. How cool is that? It's a whole lot different than my last trip here. We're seeing wildlife and we, we already saw a really pretty angry snake. <laughs> he was not very friendly, no. <laughs> no, and a, a whack load of turtles. <laughs> yes. What do you know? What I do don't you, know. What do you call a group of turtles? I don't know what you call a group of turtles. I call them a herd of turtles. People with more experience than me call them a whack load of turtles. So, you know, I have to concede that's probably the more technical and correct term. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes I absolutely love getting the adrenaline going when I'm paddling, going on in a real adventure that challenges me. But there's other days where I just want to get on the water and chill and relax and get away from everything. And that is exactly what this trip has been. What a perfect wilderness escape. And the, and the people of Huntsville, really, this area have such a gem. A couple things, if you're interested in checking out the review on the Perception Hang Time 11. I'm gonna be doing a full review. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. So watch out for that one. Uh, and a big thanks to Dan Truitt. Uh, if you haven't seen the stuff already, this, it's uh, Southern Paddler is the YouTube channel. And uh, again, I'll leave a link down below. This is the second time I've hooked up with Dan and both times have been such great river running days. And I'm really looking forward to the next. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Leave a comment down below if there's another river of this nature that I really need to check out. Otherwise, stay tuned because we got lots more paddling tips, paddling gear reviews, and adventures coming your way. Now I got a good southern meal coming my way. <laughs> <laughs>